Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to make these cute little tags that are really simple and easy to make. So I have a set of them that I'm going to show you and then I'm going to show you step by step how to make them. They are using the Mother Goose Deluxe Collector's Edition papers and the Graphic 45 tags. So I've got the ATC size tags, the regular size tags. And these tags are really easy. I have a photo mat on the back, just some basic strips of paper, some plain paper, some of the cut aparts, and really basic, but really adds to your projects. And so mine actually have magnets. I'm gonna show you how I made these because they are going to actually go on the front of the mini album that I'm creating. And so I have them magnetized as a way to kind of pull apart and have interactive elements, but they do kind of stay on the pages too. So I'm going to show you next how to do these. And so what you're going to need, you will need the regular Graphic 45 tag die. You'll need the ATC size tag die. You'll need to have a set of uh, the small ATC tags and a set of the regular ATC size tags. And I am using one entire package of the regular size and I believe nine of the ATC size tags, but you can make as many of these as you want. If you want to make this your own little album, you can actually just make it with those without the actual mini album. You will also need to have your paper collection. So I'm using Mother Goose, like I said, so I have one of these smaller cut apart cards that I've cut out. And then I have for the larger tag, I have a magnet on both of them. I'm gonna show you how I put the magnets on. I have one paper for a photo mat. It measures three and three quarters by three and three quarters. I have cut two pieces here, two of the border strips, and they are three and three quarter inches long. And if you start doing this, you can use the border strip from the playful postage. This is what I have left of the paper. I don't have the actual strips because I've already made some. But if you run out of that like I did because I've made so many tags, this is called Sunshine Stripe. It is another paper in the collection and it actually has the same exact border strip here on the paper. So I have been cutting some of these strips to finish out my tags. So you'll need two of these at three and three quarter inches. I will show you in just a second how I'm gonna round those corners. And then for the large tag, you will also need to have two pieces of paper for the top of the tag. And so one of them measures four and a quarter inches by one and a quarter inches. And this one measures four and a quarter inches by one and an eighth inch. I'm also going to use two pieces of ribbon for the top of this tag. They actually both measure six inches. For the smaller tag, you're going to need to get two pieces of your paper or cardstock. I'm just using plain cardstock because I want to be able to write on this, so I want it to be plain on the back, and I want the images to stand out. So I've got these two here, and then I've got my two small postage stamps cut out that I'm going to use to decorate the front of the tag. I have another piece of that border strip that measures two and three eighths of an inch. And then I have two pieces of ribbon that measure four and a half inches. So I am actually going to start with the small tag first because it is the easiest one to go together. So what we're going to do first, we are going to put a bead of glue in the center and add the magnet. If you don't want your tags to be magnetized, just skip this step it will not be an issue. Once you have the magnet, you are going to cover it with the paper. So I'm going to start with the blue paper first. And I'm just gonna add glue, whatever type of adhesive you choose to use is fine. and then add this to the front. Covering up that magnet, you wanna make sure that it's nice and flat as best you can get it around the magnet. And then what we're going to do next 
I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to take, actually with this one, we don't need to do this, sorry. For the next one, for the big one, we're going to. We're going to glue this strip onto the bottom. So I just put it right where the curve starts to flatten out. And then smooth it down. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my postage stamps that I have selected and I'm going to decide which one I want to be on the front or on the top, I guess I should say, and I'm gonna put them, I think, like this. So then what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put glue on the back of both of these, and then I'm going to position them on the tag. I like to do both at the same time because then I can kind of play with them before I get them stuck down and they won't move. And it is going over top of that magnet. So you just want to make sure that it's adhered and everything is laying flat so that there isn't anything that's raised or catching on anything later. And then that is the front of the tag. Flipping it over, I'm gonna take the other piece that we cut, in this case, solid red for me. You can use the decorative papers, but like I said, I am planning on this being a journaling tag, so I want it to be easy to write on it and to be able to see the writing. So we're just gonna add this one to the back side. And then because there is that magnet on the front side, I'm gonna flip this over and just make sure that I burnish it this way so that it is nice and flat and that should be good. Next, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take my two pieces of ribbon, fold them in half, and going from the front of my tag, I'm going to push these through the eyelet, and then I'm going to come up through that loop and pull them tight, and then fan them out a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do next is make some faux stitching on my tags just to give it a little bit of extra um, detail. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to, but I just think it adds a little bit extra. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished. So this is what the tag looks like finished. It just has some of the faux stitching all around the front and then also all around the back. If you want to make a journaling spot here, you can actually add some lines with stamping or you can just leave it plain. So this is the first tag. We're gonna set this aside for now, and then we're going to assemble the larger tag. One other thing that you will need for the larger tag that I forgot to mention before is another piece of cardstock or your decorative paper. It is a 3 8 inch piece, and this I just have a cut at eight and a half inches from my cardstock. So I'm gonna show you what to do with that in a minute. And what I have done is I have coordinated my colors with the front and the back so they are going to match. So the first thing that I'm going to do is start to cut the different pieces that are gonna to go together. So these are going to be the tag toppers. And in order to cut these, I'm going to bring my die in. And I am going to select the larger one first. I'm gonna take a piece of washi tape so that I can hold my die down so that it doesn't move whenever I put it through my die cutting machine. And I'm going to line up this cutting edge with the top of this piece of paper. So I'm also going to try to make sure that it is straight on the page so that I have a pretty consistent, um, I'm gonna use my grid, um, so that I have a pretty consistent cut on each side. So when I do this, I'm gonna tape this down and when I flip this over, the edge of my die is going to be on the edge of the paper. So I am going to run this through my die cutting machine and I'll be right back. 
So this is the piece that I have cut from the die and what it's going to do, it's actually this one's going to go on the back side. It is going to be the top of the tag. Before I assemble this, I'm going to set this aside and I'm just going to cut this one out next. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line this up on the grid to make it easier. It is an eighth of an inch smaller because we need it to be just slightly smaller on the front side than we do the back side. So again, I'm going to line my tag up to try to make sure that it is as straight as possible. And I'm going to run this through the die machine and I'll be back in just a minute. And this is the second piece, which will go on the front of the tag. So what I'm going to do is set that aside. I'm going to take the pieces for the back side and I'm going to take these two pieces. I'm going to take my pencil and first what I'm going to do is I'm going to round the corners on the flower border strip. So I am just going to place this tag right on this edge and make a line. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm just going to use a pair of scissors to round these corners. With little pieces, I find this is easier than trying to use my corner rounder because my corner rounder is like this and it's not so easy to use with little tiny pieces. So what you'll see when you put this on here, it is the same shape as the tag. So I am going to take this piece and put it on top of the other piece and I am going to trim that second piece using the first one as a template. So now I have one for the front and one for the back. So what we're going to do first is start assembling the back side. I am going to flip this over and I'm going to start with the bottom piece. I'm going to add glue. And then place on the bottom. I am going to leave a small black border around the tag. And then I'm going to take my top piece, add glue to it first, and then we're going to put this on the top of the tag. We want to make sure that this is lined up nice and straight. this magnet up so I can get this to lay flat here. Okay. And now I have my photo mat. If you don't want to put a photo mat, you don't have to. You can just place your photo right on there. And my photo mat is going to go in the center here. So I'm going to glue it down next. Make sure that you have this lined up so that it is nice and straight so that all of your lines look good. And again, there's a small gap between both of those and all around the tag. So this is the back side of the tag. We will flip it over. And then what we're going to do is actually attach the magnet to the front. And so I'm going to have mine stacking. And so you can put it off to the side if you want it to be off to the side or anywhere else. I'm gonna bring my page in for this one that I'm working on. 
and this is the page. So this tag is going to sit like this on this page here with this one in the front. And so I'm going to have them stacking on top of each other. Like I said, you can do them on the side if you'd want to. You can stack them however you want. If you don't wanna put a magnet, you don't have to, but mine are gonna be directly on top of one another. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to take this magnet and I'm going to put it on the back of this tag. Then what I'm gonna do is put a little dot of glue on my magnet and I'm going to line this up where I want this tag to sit when it's finished. And so it is going to be here where I'm gonna do this. If you wanna make sure that it's centered, you can start with your grid and kind of work to make sure that it is centered as well. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it here and I'm going to set this tag down. I'm gonna push down on the magnet. That way the glue is on the back of the tag. Now I'm gonna take this magnet off and I'm gonna make sure that the right side, the side with the glue is down so that the magnets will connect. And so what we're going to do next is cover the magnet in the front of the tag with the decorative paper. So to start this one, I am going to start with the bottom piece again. Then I'm gonna take the top piece. And then I'm going to take my card and my piece of cardstock and I'm going to line this up with the side of this and I'm going to make a mark. I'm going to cut this piece and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And next, what I'm going to do is glue these pieces on. Once I have glue, I'm going to line this piece up so that it is, there's a slight black gap between both of them but the edges are lined up with the top and bottom piece. I'm gonna repeat the process with the other one. And then last, I'm going to add my journaling card right in the center. This makes it a little bit easier to make those lines uniform so that you know for sure that everything is spaced evenly on that tag. Make sure that you are careful that the magnet doesn't move. Sometimes I will actually put a piece of tape over the magnet so that I know it doesn't move, but I'm pretty sure the glue was dry by the time I got to it, so it's okay. So this is the front of the tag. So now what we're going to do 
is take those two pieces of ribbon, fold them in half, thread them from the front through the eyelet to the back, and then push those threads through the loop. Pull it tight and then fan them out. Just like the smaller tag, I am going to do faux stitches on this. And so I am going to do this and I will show you what it looks like when it's finished. So this is what the tag looks like finished. It has stitching all around the top and the side and then on the top of the back as well. So now that I have my tags finished, I can connect them together and they will stay in one. And you can tilt them to this side, you can make them straight, however you would prefer. And then if you are magnetizing yours and you want to put these in something or on a project, what you would do, you would add another magnet. So I'm gonna show you when I go to put these in my book, what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to attach another magnet to the back of this tag. I would put glue on this magnet, just like I did with the one in the front whenever I was stacking them. And I would place this on my flap here with the glue and I would line it up just so I know exactly where this is going to go. And so then it will be magnetized to my actual album. And so that's what I have done with my previous ones. And so you can do the same exact thing for your projects. If you don't want to magnetize them, that's fine too. Just leave the magnets off and just cover the paper or cover the tag with the paper uh, without the magnets being there. So um, when I finish the rest of my book, I will gather the tags together and I will show you them and I'll show you them all together on a ring so that you can just make a tag album if you want. So I'll be back with that in just a moment. So I'm back with all of the tags on one ring. This is the large ring that comes with the regular size tags from Graphic 45. If you were going to make a tag album like this, I would recommend being really careful about how you put the lace on and actually not put the lace on the tags. I would put the lace on the ring after you finish the tags because that's gonna decrease some of the bulk that I have here. But as you can see, going through these, you just have all the different tags. And it's really cute, just a really fun, easy way to make something really cute and really special for somebody. And you can use any of the Graphic 45 collections to do this. So it doesn't take a lot of paper too. So the nice thing is you could do this with your scraps from a collection because you can also use some of the just plain colored cardstock like I did here. And so it's a really fun kind of cute project to do. And I hope it gives you some inspiration on some different things that you might be able to do with some of your Graphic 45 tag dies and your extra strips of paper or even just starting with the new collection. Thank you for watching and have a great day.